Welcome back to the next chapter in the Ovon P4305 saga. Just a short recap. In the very first part, card here, link in the description, I tested among other things the switch on transients in constant current mode and it looked something like that. Ooh. And back then I called this atrocious. That's absolutely terrible. Look at that. So from here. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> I know. But then uh, four days ago, by the time I'm recording this, uh, Harry objected to my judgment. And yeah, you can read that for yourself, but basically he pointed out that uh, halogen lamps have a very high inrush current and he's absolutely right about that. Yeah, you can pause and read that text. So uh, basically when you take into account just the linear temperature coefficient, there's also a quadratic one by the way, uh, then you get a factor of 11 between the cold resistance and the hot resistance at operating temperature of, yeah, for halogen lamps, about 2700 degrees C. He pointed another thing out to me, uh, again you can uh, read that here, that probably the voltage setting has some influence on the current voltage mode because according to him, the <laughs> Ovon would first go into constant voltage mode and then sense the current and then regulate the current down to constant current mode. And I want to test this all out if there's anything to it because he made me really curious and uh, yeah, here, I wrote that there. So let's dive in. So I just measured an overshoot of about, uh, well, uh, well over 100%. Let's have a look at the settings on the Ovon. So my set voltage was 30 volts and my set current 2.5 amps. And if I switch the whole thing on now and I go down here to 24 volts, uh, that's two of my 12 volt bulbs in series. And I increase the current limit here you see that at 24 volts, the nominal voltage for my bulbs here, I would draw 2.75 amps. So let's let the voltage here at these 24 volts and decrease the set current to 2.5 amps and measure that transient again. Fire in the hole. Ah, and indeed the overshoot is a wee bit smaller here, but yeah, it's <clears throat> still very bad. But then uh, in the beginning, yeah, our first transient, we had to regulate the voltage down from the initial set voltage, yeah, uh, according to his theory, from 30 volts to 20 volts. And now we have to uh, set it down from 24 volts, or the old one has to do that, to 20 volts. Let's try something more extreme. I've configured now my electronic load. Yeah, there was also a video about that card here, link in the description, uh, with four of the 12 volt, 10 watt light bulbs in parallel. So we are running now at 12 volts and 3.6 amps constant voltage mode. And I configure the whole thing here now for 30 volts and, uh, sorry, 3.6 amps. For 30 volts, 3.5 amps. And we measure that transient again. Fire on the hole. Ooh. 
Again, and as expected, we have over 100% overshoot. But that was with a set voltage of 30 volts. Now let's half that set voltage to 15 volts and do the whole thing again. Set voltage is now 15 volts, so half of our 30 volts and fire on the hole. So <laughs> we reduced the set voltage by 50% from 30 to 15 volts. Uh, we still have a significant, well, uh, basically about 100% overshoot, but it's not as bad as uh, <laughs> with 30 volt set voltage. So the set voltage has some influence on how large the overshoot is, but uh, yeah, getting down with the set voltage as suggested uh, near the voltage you need actually to drive your current, uh, at least with the halogen light bulbs, uh, doesn't improve things significantly. Uh, you can see some improvement, but it's still atrocious. Anyway, uh, let's replace that thing here by a real power resistor and see if it's maybe the halogen light bulbs with their uh, order of magnitude difference between cold and hot resistance. My halogen light bulbs are switched off now and instead I put here a 4.7 ohm 5 watt power resistor between the posts. So yes, as a set voltage of 5 volts, we are drawing 1 amp. And uh, if I just capture that with the scope, please note uh, I changed the time scale from 1 millisecond to 20 milliseconds. Then you see, yeah, in constant voltage mode, absolutely no problem. Uh, much slower than at the higher currents, uh, but that's probably because of the output capacitance here. And now we say we want to do the same. So constant current, one amp, and we go up here, yeah, initially to the maximum voltage of 30 volts. And let's arm the trigger here again. And po. Yeah, um, I'll zoom in, but uh, yeah, I would guesstimate that's all again more than 100% overshoot. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I would have to capture that uh, with a larger voltage scale. Uh, yeah, 0 amps, 1 amps here. Let's try that again with a lower set voltage. Okay, 30 is a bit much, uh, yeah, in constant voltage mode to drive 1 amp through here. Uh, let's turn that down to 10 volts and do that again. Um, the trigger and puff. Huh. Let's have a look. And the overshoot is down to well, 60, 70 percent, uh, which is still quite bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can again see the influence of the set voltage in constant current mode on the overshoot when you're switching on. Okay, one last try, 7.5 volts, okay? So 7, 6, 7.5, arming the oscilloscope and dush. Oh, looks better, but it's still a significant overshoot. Yeah, um, order of magnitude 25% or so. Okay, one more test at 2 amps and this will put about 20, a little less than 20 watts on that little thing. But for a short term, short time, it will survive that. Uh, yeah, uh, constant uh, constant voltage mode, uh, 10 volts, no current limit. And again, we have a nice switch on transient here in constant voltage mode. 
And now let's configure that for constant current. And we go down here again to two amps. And here we go up initially again to 30 amps. Rearming the oscilloscope and... Okay, overshoot. Yeah, almost 90% here. Turning down the set voltage to 15 volts. I mean, I could put it down, <laughs> turn it down to 11 volts, but uh, I mean, a, a constant current mode is a constant current mode and shouldn't rely so much on the set voltage. Uh, resetting the scope and here we go. And again, lot less overshoot. But still, yeah, about 30%, 25, 30% overshoot left. Hmm. Now, what does that all mean? I mean, first of all, the set voltage has an influence on the magnitude of the overshoot, which is curious, but I think Harry's <laughs> theory was that the thing would first go into constant voltage mode, yeah, when you switch it on and then see that the current is exceeding the set limit and then switch to constant current mode. Uh, which is an interesting theory of operation, but uh, yeah, after looking here at the scope, uh, it has its merits. I mean, the overshoot doesn't go away, unless you actually yeah would put the set voltage to the voltage required to reach your current but uh then you don't need a constant current or, uh, mode uh, would you um there is in my opinion no significant difference between uh using a wire wound resistor here a power resistor all the halogen light bulbs. I mean, we saw bigger overshoots with the halogen light bulbs, but then we ran there at much higher currents, 3.5 amps. And we saw in the first uh, review, um, in the first part of the Ovon Saga videos, that actually the higher the output power, the higher the output current, the worse the overshoots get when switching on in constant current mode. So, uh, in my opinion, the verdict still stands <laughs> for the Ovon P4305. Turn on transients in general, that is constant voltage mode, not so good, and in constant current mode, still terrible. And yeah, with that, I will leave you to your own devices. Bye.